Do you have a roster currently? Um, no. Actually, that's why I got on the dating app, because I felt like I didn't have enough, like, hoes. <laughs> so you want more hoes. <laughs> I just want to be entertained or stimulated, I guess. You want to be entertained or stimulated? Yeah. Both. Both. Can, okay. What's the difference between being entertained and stimulated? Entertainment comes with, like, something that could be intriguing, or entertainment can just be, like, um, like talking. I wasn't really, like, talking to anybody, so I felt like it was, like... I need to open up my doors to, like, meeting new people, I guess. And that was, like, the easier access point, especially now in, like, our yeah. generation. Qu stuff. Question for the entire panel on the entertainment thing. <clears throat> uh, how important is it to you to be entertained by your <laughs> significant other, whether man or woman? Uh, is that intellectually, important? Intellectually stimulated? No, entertained. Entertained, like they <laughs> dance for you, like they dance. Right. Like I, what do you mean? Well, they could be uh, perhaps they're funny. Yeah, that that's really important. Oh, yeah, 100%. They're, they're conversationalists. Uh, yeah, conversationalists. Yeah. Conversationalists. They, they have good banter. Mm -hmm. they, yeah, it's they've super got important. The riz, whatever. I'd say that's like a 10 of importance. Yeah, I would be important. Above. Yeah. If a guy can't entertain you, is it a no go? I'm still stuck on like the definition of like how we're defining entertaining in this context. Like, what do you? How mean? about you're not bored? Um, mm, actually, that's not fair. Yeah, that's, that's not, not fair. fair. Uh, you're you're entertained. I don't know. It holds your attention. Something that you want to look at. Something that you want to see. Something that you want to be around because it occupies your mind. That's a perfect. Um, I would say yes and no. I would say like it's not like a total loss if a guy. Uh, like, if I were single and this guy wasn't, um, like, totally entertaining me, I wouldn't say it's, like, an immediate no. Okay. Uh, I feel like for a relationship, you should be entertained, not just, like, stagnant, like, sitting there. You should be entertained. Like, is it... Like, I would say it's important in a relationship. If you're just talking to somebody, maybe not as much. Okay. Um... What was the question again? How important is uh, yeah, being entertained? Yeah, it's super, it's super important. It's a 10. I think like you can you can be just a hot guy mm -hmm. that's boring or dumb, and uh, girls can sometimes be just as shallow as guys and just go after a guy because they're hot. Mm -hmm. um, and that goes both ways. Sure. Uh, if you're boring, I think that's kind of a deal breaker. Well, deal not breaker. like boring, but like not entertaining. Not entertaining. Because like I've talked to guys who are like, they do like 80 million different things and it's super fun to like get to know like different experiences, getting to go do something new that you mm -hmm. haven't done before. And if a guy does the same thing as you do or does less, it's kind of like, okay, where's the fun in that? Like, I want to go learn. I'm fun. a learner. Okay. I like learning. Right. I've been told, <clears throat> I've been told I have ADHD, so I need to be entertained. Okay. <laughs> like, I, I like <laughs> entertainment. Yes. Maddie. <laughs> Yeah, but I can be really easily entertained, so. <laughs> also true. I wonder like what, how much component of this, I mean, obviously society's changed significantly, but I mean, like, there's Netflix, HBO. Can't you just be entertained? You're already, like, you know, you got TikTok, attention span, 10 seconds. For all of human history, there was a complete lack of entertainment. And now, not only do women demand entertainment from media, but also we as men are... are uh... Dylan Joe donated $200. Is it fair for your chick to have trust issues with you even if you're innocent and show no signs of being unfaithful? Andrew, you're a fucking beast the way you unapologetically preach the truth. Yo, thank you, Dylan. Appreciate it. Um, is it fair for your chick to have trust issues with you even if you're innocent? Uh, we'll come back to that, Dylan. I'll pull that one back up so I can get through all this. Um, it's just interesting. So going back to it, it's just interesting to me, like, why do y'all look for men to be your entertainment? Wait, when you guys are Whoa. never like providing, no. <laughs> it goes the back. It goes both ways. I am a very entertaining in, in my relationships. Okay. I'm, I keep them laughing. I suggest fun things to do. I'm super outdoorsy. I take them to really like cool brunch. places. No, like go hike and go in a cave and go oh, in a waterfall. Sounds, lay out in the bad. sun <laughs> in the mountains, <laughs> like <laughs> skydiving. Um, it goes both ways. I would never demand something that I'm not willing to also put forward. Who's that comedian? I think it's Bill Burr, and he says something along the lines of. 
You know, us men, we, we have very busy lives. We just kind of want to relax on the weekends. <laughs> and if you're dating, if you're dating, you just get your, sh your weekend filled up with stuff. Oh, let's do brunch. <laughs> you know? I never go to brunch. Can't we just... <laughs> I'm tired. Brunch is you fun. don't want to eat. I don't know. Something. I think it's a balance, though. Like you don't you want, to eat. yeah, like eating. You know, so I don't know. You want like that's what you like. And yeah, what the, like, your partner likes. You don't need to be like doing clown things that you all like. the time. But yeah. you want like some. Some people like boring though. Like, don't yeah. get me wrong. There's no enough. such like. There can be entertainment, and there can also be people that are just okay with being boring. Yeah. To each his own, but like. I feel like personally it comes on like perspective like hey you know I like to be entertained I'm pretty sure if you like to be entertained that's yeah. probably why we get along together mm -hmm. you know what I yeah, mean like do you like to be entertained or do you like boring I like boring I give, think... give me boring <laughs> give me boring I think it's a matter of like if this person isn't able to entertain you consistently is it a deal breaker or mm. are you okay with like some um I don't know if stagnant's the right word, but like, are you comfortable okay? silences? Yeah, like just What's coexisting. Like, like, just, the, like comes to sacrifices out. and stuff too. Like, hey, okay, like they can do a balance of like maybe they can like, okay, I'm hearing you out. Maybe you're not so much entertaining on this part, but like we can figure it out together. And that's something like you said. Like, is that a deal breaker for you? For me, yeah, it's not a deal breaker, but I would like for it to be entertaining. I get you. Um, but it's not going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to date you because you're not entertaining. Like, no, I can be boring too. Like, yeah. we don't have to go to brunch. <laughs> no brunch. <laughs> no brunch. <laughs> Just lunch. Yeah. Balance. <laughs> I love that balance. I guess, at least from my perspective, I'm not looking to a woman to like spike my like excitement level. Stimulated, really? <laughs> yeah, like in terms of like you being so, like some super banter or really funny. I don't look for that in. So as a long woman. as she's like attractive, that stimulates you. Well, you can. There's a lot of things I care about. There's a lot of things I care about beyond looks when it comes to like your character and your personality. But your ability to entertain me is kind of irrelevant don't hmm. care at all would you say looks fair. is like a big thing like for yeah sure when you like it's piece important of it? yeah i think so but too. like i'm not like the in terms of what you bring to the table when it comes to your personality your ability to make me laugh or entertain me is very low on the uh totem pole so what are your like top totally five irrelevant. things? What are your top five uh, things that you look for priorities? Sure. In so I mean, the biggest you'd be looking for things like um, pretty, hot, good looking, <laughs> very attractive. Um, it's a wonderful you know, list to look at. I would look for like those five qualities. I think that those are the best five. Big those groups. are pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'd say the biggest thing is uh, so bringing peace. So we actually asked this uh, last show, and maybe Nick, you could pull up that tweet again. So. Oh, what was the, I'm trying to remember what the question was exactly, but I would rather, like, I think a lot of women would rather date a really, like, charismatic, entertaining guy, but it comes with constant conflict and arguing versus dating, like, a dull, boring guy who otherwise treats you nice and treats you well, and there's never any conflict. No, I would rather have the latter. I, honestly, I you hate conflict. I, um, the boring guy with no conflict. Okay, I hate, say so. I hate conflict so much. I have like a like a fight, like a three fight rule. Like if we argue like three times, like a heated argument, like mm -hmm. I'm done with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because there's not many reasons to argue with yeah. me. I'm pretty no, easy going. Balance. Yeah. Balance. Well, yeah, you can balance. you can have no conflict and then also have somebody who's charismatic and enter entertaining, yeah. I suppose. But uh, it seems if it's one or the other, a lot of a, a lot of women will want the conflict plus the entertaining, charismatic guy. I don't no. think it has I'll, to be one yeah. or the other. I think it can be both. No, but in his scenario that he's... Sure, yeah. Yeah. Whatever fan donated $200, <laughs> I would also like to concur with Andrew's top five list. Baddie, baddie, shut the Please add a baddie to that list as well. Let Andrew cook. All right. Thank you, man. No, no, that, that baddie doesn't make the list. No. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, I think the question that we asked last time is, would you rather be with a boring guy, but there's never any conflict arguing, or with a really entertaining, fun, interesting guy, but there's constant conflict arguing? Boring. Boring. Boring, no conflict. Which do you pick? Can I say a balance? I feel like you have No, you got to gotta pick balance. one or the other. I guess boring. I like to make up, so I like a little argument. Okay, there you go. <laughs> boring. Boring. I don't know. 
well, I guess boring, but okay. life sucks too. As long as it's not like, <laughs> you know, aggressive. Uh, we'll continue with the relationship.